dear students uh, today i want to start your third chapter that is whole number so good morning every students dear students you have understood you have understood that uh, natural numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 all this such type of all such type of numbers are called natural numbers and then whole numbers you should know all natural numbers together with zero are called whole numbers so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 etc all these numbers are called whole numbers so you can understand that every natural number is a whole number but zero zero is a whole number which is not a natural number zero is a whole number but it is not natural so now let us take some exam uh, some questions as examples from 3a here you have to write the successor successor of suppose you have to write Thirteen lakh fifty thousand six hundred. So its successor means a number which is one more than the given number. So it will be thirteen lakh fifty thousand six hundred one. And then in the then in the same way you go for question number two. Here you have to write predecessor predecessor of the given number. So predecessor means. A number which is one less than the given number. Here, twenty thousand five hundred. So its predecessor will be twenty thousand four hundred ninety-nine. Now move for question number three. Here you have to find the largest and the smallest four-digit numbers using each of the digits seven one zero five only once. so the largest number will be 7510 whereas the smallest number will be 1057 now question number 4 you can go through question number 4 now here you have you are asked that why does there why there does not exist any largest number so what will be the reason it is so because every natural number has its successor suppose you think that 1 crore is a largest number but if you add 1 it will be 1000 1 crore 1 1 crore 1 so it is not the largest one any time you can get a number which is one more than the given number so there is no any largest number now let us see question number 5 here you have to write three three consecutive numbers uh, starting just pre preceding 75 lakh 10001 so it will be uh, they will be 75 lakh 10000 75 lakh 9099 and 75 lakh 99 uh, th uh, 75 lakh 9998 now you have to say true or false every whole number is a natural number it is a false statement every whole number cannot be a natural number you have as you have seen about zero then every natural number is a whole number this is true then zero is the smallest natural number it is a false statement zero is not a natural number then go for four one is the smallest whole number it is false it is not the smallest whole number a smallest whole number is zero of the given numbers of the given natural numbers the one having more digits is greater this is a true statement then the a smallest six digit number is the successor of the largest five digit number it is also true because largest five digit number is 99999 and the smallest six digit number is 1 lakh now let us go through 
some properties of addition closure property commutative property uh, closure property means if you will add any two whole numbers again you will get whole number then commutative property means if you reverse the order of addition the sum will be the same this is called commutative property and then then zero property property of zero if you add zero to a number the same number you will get and then pro associative property suppose a b c are three whole numbers then in any order you can add them like a plus b plus c will be equal to a plus b plus c and now now let us some uh, do some questions from exercise 3b here you have to find a uh, fill in the blanks like 248 plus 639 will be 639 plus 248 this is because of commutative property of addition then you will have to uh, add these numbers by change uh, reversing the order of the addends like 2346 plus 12758 if you reverse the order it will be 12758 plus 2346 then the value will be 15104 now you have to see in question number three in two ways with the help of associative law Two, uh, three values of three numbers are to be added and you in both the cases you will find that the sum sum is equal like 1546 plus 498 plus 3589 that is equal to 5633 if you change the association of uh, addition then again the value will be 5633 next go for question number one you have to add seventh uh, fourth one uh, 753 plus 807 plus 947 the value will be equal to 753 plus 947 plus 807 that is in each case you will find the value is 2507 and this is because of associative law uh, addition then then you go for magic square here some numbers are given you have to find in any way uh, what is the sum of these numbers here here you can see that 8 plus 5 plus 2 that is 15 and in all the uh, y horizontal way or vertical way or diagonally you must get 15 so here 9 and 2 11 if you put 4 here the again value will be 15 in the same way if you put 3 here then 4 plus 3 plus 8 again it is 15 if you put 7 here then then 3 plus 5 plus 7 that is 15 here and if you put here 6 then you can see that 2 plus 7 plus 6 is 15 here so it is called a magic square you can take interest in such type of questions and now you have to find the sum of sort method like 567 plus 9 567 plus 9 can be added as 567 first you add 10 to it then you will get 577 and subtract 1 from it then you will get 576 so this is the sort method to get the sum so your next assignment work will be you have will have to do carefully the exercise number 3b Okay, girls, thank you. Have a nice day.